para influenza infection in immunocompromised patients uh, has a, a big burden in this patient population. Uh, and the reason is this virus can uh, cause usually upper respiratory tract infection, but it can progress to the lower tract. And at that time, we know from many published studies that it can uh, cause increased mortality, either from respiratory failure or all cause mortality. So I think the burden of this infection is pretty big, uh, mainly in stem cell transplant patients, as well as solid organ transplant. Uh, and now there is data in the patient with leukemia or patient even with lymphoma and myeloma. Uh, DS181, uh, it's a, a new drug under development with a, a specific mechanism of action. Uh, first, it's given in aerosolized format. And the way it works, it's an entry uh, uh, inhibitor. It will uh, cleave the silic acid on the cells, preventing uh, entry of the virus uh, into the cell and not only para influenza but also influenza and maybe other viruses so with this mechanism of action where you're preventing entry it has an antiviral effect uh, in the para influenza infection uh, and we tested this drug in immunocompromised patients and I'm presenting the data, the phase two data, uh, tomorrow uh, in the morning in one of the oral sessions.